Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are doing really well today. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Justin Rose's golf bags. What's in his bag, what clubs he is using. Now obviously, Justin Rose was with TaylorMade for about 20 years and you know then signed with Honma for a year didn't really get on didn't last very long and now he has a complete mix of what's in his golf bag this is a really good look at when a tour player is not signed up to one specific brand one specific con uh, contract or sponsorship that he is able to choose basically whatever he wants and there are some really really interesting golf clubs in Justin's bag so first of all we're going to take a look at what's in his bag in 2021 and we're going to have a little look at what it compares to last year as well so let's dive straight in Justin Rose what's in the bag 2021 Taylor made M1 2017 driver now this is not a new driver 2017 four years ago this driver was released but it's back in Justin's bag. He obviously would have used it when he was sponsored by TaylorMade. He obviously one of his favorite drivers. He has this in eight degrees, Mitsubishi Tensei CV Pro Orange 70 gram TX shaft, quite a popular shaft out there on tour. Not very flexible, quite stiff. Um, then we move on to the three wood. I love this bag because I love, it's so varied. There's so much different stuff in this bag. It's awesome. Three wood TaylorMade M4. 15 degrees Mitsubishi Tensei CK orange 80 gram TX shaft. So now we're moving almost up in the years slowly. TaylorMade M4 3 wood. Now we move on to the 5 wood. TaylorMade M6 5 wood. Now I have the 3 wood in this and I do really like it. It's absolutely awesome. Goes miles. He has this in 18 degrees. Again, same shaft Mitsubishi Tensei CK Pro orange shaft. It's really interesting that he's chosen these woods because, well, the driver is the M1, so that's like the adjustable player's version, but the M4 and the M6 are obviously the non-adjustable heads and, you know, they're, they're the slightly bigger, wider footprint, slightly more forgiving, so that's what he clearly likes to see with a three, with a slightly wider, shallower uh, footprint, head shape, and, you know, a little bit more forgiveness there as well. But really interesting to see that he's almost moving up in the years throughout those M, TaylorMade M1, TaylorMade M4, TaylorMade M6. And that also that he's not using one of the latest drivers out on the market. It's really, really interesting to see. So next we move into a driving iron. So that's right, he has a five wood and a driving iron, but the driving iron is a four driving iron. It's the Srixen ZXU four iron KBS C taper 125S plus shaft. I haven't personally hit this iron. I don't really know much. I've, I've not really had much experience with Srix and irons, to be honest. Um, they do make some really beautiful irons. So obviously this is one that he's really getting on with that he really likes a lot. He has it in the same shaft as his, the rest of his irons. He keeps the rest of his irons in the KBSC taper, 125 gram S plus shaft. So then he moves into the irons. These are awesome irons. Mizuno MP20s. They are so, so beautiful. Stunning blades, really nice irons. Justin Rose, one of the best ball strikers on the planet. You know, no surprise that he's using one Mizuno irons because they are awesome and two, a bladed iron because he is such a good ball striker. Next, we move into the wedges. Again, this is a pretty mixed setup in the wedges. He has Titleist Vokey SM8 in the 52 degree. He has this in 12, degree, uh, 12 degrees about. Um, he has this in the F grind. Again, KBS Tour C Taper 125S shaft. Then he has the Titleist Vokey SM7 in 56 degrees, uh, 8 degrees about M grind. These in the KBS High Rev 2.0 shafts, his, the, his last two wedges, and his last wedge is the Titleist Vokey Prototype, so that's what will probably be coming to market hopefully soon. 60 degrees, 6 degrees of bounce, quite a little bounce on it, K Grind, KBS High Rev 2.0 shafts. Now, the you know, those are some great wedges, Titleist makes some of the best wedges on the planet. Now let's move into the putter. 
Justin Rose is gaming the Axis One Rose prototype putter. He was quite instrumental in the designing of this putter. It looks pretty, pretty kind of funky, but it looks quite cool. It's worked really well for him. He was always never a very good putter of the golf ball. And, you know, he's recently transformed into being a pretty solid putter. So he has this in two degrees of loft, uh, loft uh, lie angle 71.75 degrees. Then we move into the golf ball, TaylorMade TP5 2021 version. Now remember, I don't believe Rose is sponsored by any of these brands, so I'm pretty sure these clubs are, you know, handpicked by him because he likes them the most, they work for him the most. So let's dive now into what he was using in the bag last year and see how it compares because there are some really interesting differences. He was gaming the, in 2020, he was gaming the driver TaylorMade Sim 10.5 degrees Mitsubishi Kuro Kage XTS 70 gram TX shaft. Um, he was, you know, that's quite a lot more loft. He has an eight degree driver now. Um, he has he had that tailor-made sim in the 10.5, but that is also the trend in driver heads Remember driver heads used to spin more now they spin less So that kind of makes sense that the tailor-made sim he'd have because it's a lower spinning head He'd have more loft on it get, to get more launch more spin and the tailor-made m1 2017 he has less loft so the three wood tailor-made sim 15 degrees Mitsubishi Kuro Kage XTS 80 gram TX shaft again following the trend tailor-made sim but in the five wood this is quite interesting Cobra King speed zone 17.5 degrees Mitsubishi Diamante D plus 80 gram X shaft so again this is a mixed bag he's probably choosing pretty much the clubs he wants to be using in this bag then into the irons he is using, he was using the TaylorMade P730 irons for pitching with Project X 6.5 shafts. Now these are irons that Rose used for a long time when he was with TaylorMade, so it's no surprise that he went back to them last year. Wedges TaylorMade milled grind 50 and 56. That looks like it's the original milled grind, not the milled grind two. Uh, he had these in a Project X 6.5 and then Titleist Vokey prototype, um, again, 60 degrees, same wedge, K-grind, um, Proto High Rev shaft. Uh, putter, again, same putter, Axis One Rose Proto, and he was again using the TaylorMade TP5 ball, but this was last year's version of it. Let's just have a quick look through Justin's bag in 2019, because again, it's a pretty big change. He was using the Honma TW driver, 9.5 degrees. He was then using the three wood of the TaylorMade M6, which is what he's using in the five wood now. Um, he was then using a drive iron, driving iron, he didn't have a five wood. He was using the Honma TW driving iron, and then in the irons, the Honma TW747 Rose Prototype 4 iron pitching wedge. And then wedges, Honma TW Rose Proto 52 and 56. And then he had a Titleist Vokey wedge work 60 degree. Again, in the high rev shaft. And he had the same Axis 1 putter, same TaylorMade TP5 golf ball. So guys, that's Rose's bag through the last three years. Some really interesting trends to see there. Some really interesting changes has been made in his bag. He was actually using newer clubs last year and the year before that to what he is using now in terms of his woods. He's got a complete mixed bag throughout the bag. We've got some TaylorMade, some Titleist, some Srixen in there, an Axis One putter. Um, yeah, it is a mixed bag. Let me know, comment down below what you think of that, what you think of Justin's bag. It is very interesting to take a look at. I'd love to know what you have to think. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Loads, loads more content coming out very, very soon, so make sure you don't miss it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, grip it and rip it.